Ooh, what's up guys? Welcome back to the review space and today we take a look at an armor tech Iron Man from Iron Man 2 concept series. And yes, it has triple missile launcher. Aw snap. First of all, I love the color. I love the armor of Iron Man here. It looks awesome. Look at the paint job. Blue, white, and red, and some shiny gray. He looks excellent. Looks awesome. I mean, I love his accessories. Can't wait to open it up. We'll open it up a little bit later, of course. Got it at Winners. $7.99. You know, I'm sizzling. Eight bucks only. Actually, this is this is the only um, model of the concept series that I like. There's uh, quite a few more of these uh, types. Basically, it's it's a 4-inch, 3.75-inch fig from Hasbro, but then they include these other accessories. He's got a bit more plastic, a bit more, he got projectiles and stuff like that. Which is, they, it kind of gives them reason to price it up a little bit. So it's instead of $5, it's $8. So because of the extra accessories. Alright, and the back, it's got, yes, the uh, a demo of the character. So you basically put the different parts, pieces of the uh, armor on him. He's got a launching gauntlet claw. So <laughs> it's a projectile, so it's a rocket firing type of... Uh, 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 action figure. Adventuring in other worlds means Iron Man is exposed to all sorts of exotic toxins. He built the Exosphere mission armor to withstand even the most corrosive alien air. Now we can adventure safely anywhere in the universe. It's called Exosphere Mission. Exosphere. Whatever that means. Maybe he's like in the uh, uh, outside of the Earth's uh, atmosphere. I guess. All right, and it's from 2010. That's right, from last year when Iron Man 2 came out. Yes, the packaged uh, figure looks pretty sweet. It actually look, looks display worthy. You know, I mean, nothing too. Uh, pretty much all of it looks the same, with the exception of the little picture at the top right, and then you got uh, Iron Man's top left photo. But carded, it does look pretty good. I mean, I gotta gotta admit, it looks pretty 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 sweet looking. All right, so what are we waiting for? Let's open them up. All right, here we go, and the figure should be out. Oh yeah, there it is. Sweet. Oh, all this cardboard. Oh snap. Oh man, look at that. That looks awesome. It looks like he even has a stand. He's got a stand. Sweet. And you know, not a large figure. I mean, it's a four-incher. But it is a sweet looking uh, uh, action figure. You know what I hate though? What I can't stand? It? There's sometimes at Winners, people open up the packaging. They open up the figures, the, the boxes, the action figure uh, cases. And like, these people, these complete losers will just open it up like they, and then they steal the figures inside so uh, th the problem with stealing action figures and toys from stores is that it, it's so annoying because like it, that raises the uh the uh the cost you know what i'm saying so if you steal from a store the 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 price goes up for the rest of us consumers who actually you know pay for the figures all right so this is iron man armor tech edition and I mean look at that look at the paint job it just looks so sweet I love the color scheme just looks absolutely gorgeous beautiful beautiful very display worthy very um it's it's definitely for a collector's type of uh, Iron Man I mean this is probably the coolest armor I've ever seen of Iron Man I've seen some pretty decent ones I've seen them with gold and black uh, gold and yeah gold and black and red and black those ones look pretty sweet but this one just looks absolutely dynamic if they made a movie, you know, like Iron Man 3 or whatever, like in the later later Iron Man films, he should have something like this. Because, like, w he when he has blue or silvery style armor, it just makes him look kind of cool, you know, he just looks better on him instead of just the typical red. I don't know why, but it just looks uh, more interesting. Alright, there's the other accessories to take it out right now. Come on, come on! Come on, you stubborn plastic that is just irritating all right 
All right, there's the stand, standy, and then there's some uh, missiles. Yeah. All right. Oh, come on, I don't have all day. Come on, man. Dang it. That is so annoying, yo. Finally, the final piece. All right, before we put on his accessories, let's take a look at the figure itself. Check out the uh, articulation. All right, so his head does turn. All right, very, uh, uh, very uh, twistable. You know what I'm saying? You can rotate. And his arm can go up and down. It should be on a ball jointed as well. Yep, it's ball jointed. Elbows can bend. Should be, yep, elbows is bendable, although you can't, doesn't look like you can twist it. Uh, you can rotate his, uh, his wrist, you know what I'm saying? His hand. And no articulation at the waist, unfortunately. His waist, uh, his abdomen, no, you know, no uh, movement there. His legs are ball jointed. And from the, uh, from the hips and you can bend his knees all right and that's pretty much it that's it's very uh, actually feels a bit more limited than uh, the other figures because uh, you can't even rotate his foot you can't move it up and down or anything overall it's it's good but not incredibly articulated it, it's pretty good all right so let's put on his accessories all right this is the, the instruction manual exosphere mission iron man what do we got here all right, that's that's pretty easy. All right, so this thing goes here. This uh, torso. Uh, yes. Oh, there it is. Okay, so his torso armor. <laughs> there you go. That looks pretty cool. All right. It's actually quite uh, quite. Uh, well, it looks bulky on him. All right. What else we got? Uh, his right hand. Okay, his right hand. This is the projectile shooter rocket launcher thing. All right, where where are you? Uh, okay, what the heck? Yeah, Nanda Datebayo, as Naruto would say. Nanda Datebayo. All right, this is the kind of stuff that eats up a lot of time because when the uh, accessory won't go your way, doesn't go your uh, doesn't do your bidding. And it becomes stubborn like this. This uh, gets me irritated because it eats up a lot of my time. It eats up a lot of reviewing time. I don't have every... You know, I have a very limited schedule. And so when the figure decides to... Uh, you know, screw around with me... There you go. That's when I get annoyed. Look at this. What are you... Oh my goodness, look at that. This is so annoying, like for real, like it's not, it's supposed to go through like that, through his hand, and it's not even working. Okay, forget it. I uh, basically just snapped on the uh, rocket uh, launcher thing on his left hand instead. Seems to be a better fit, and the gauntlet design thing on his uh, right hand, it fits, uh, it, w it works fine. And uh, <laughs> this thing here, this um... This part here of this uh, accessory, his body accessory. If you press, there's a button behind it, over there. And if you press it, here's what happens. Uh, oh yeah, that's pretty cool. So it snaps down. Haha. <laughs> so I kind of like that. You know what I'm saying? It kind of just gives, uh, adds a little, a little bit more depth, a little bit more articulation action to the uh, action figure. <laughs> that's pretty cool. All right, so. I mean, just looking at the character, it looks actually pretty cool. I thought it looked a little bit awkward because of the the, the, the pictures on the box. This makes it so weird looking. Um. All right, so let's put on his uh his rocket launcher things. His projectiles. All right, this one. So these are the claws that go on his chest. Chest piece. Wow, he's got like. Oh my gosh. Does he need that many? Oh my... And they look so weird, they look so awkward. Alright, and then... Oh, okay, oh, wait a minute. Because he has like three of these, um, um, well, missile projectile things that go on his, uh, rocket launcher strapped to his arm. And my guess here is that, okay, obviously these are just extras, so, you know, like he fires it and these are just ammunition, basically. All right, so let's test it out. First of all, let's fire the one on his chest. That looks like a massive uh, 
It ma does massive damage. Alright, so here we go. Ready? We're about to fire it onto that picture. Actually, it's fired at the back. Ready, set. One, two, three, fire! Oh, that was pretty sweet! All three fired, all three uh, uh, rocket launchers, springs work, so that's that's definitely a plus. Uh, no duds in the uh, core uh, rocket launcher, and then the one on his right, or his left hand. Alright, one, two, three, fire! Oh, and that works too! Awesome! Iron Man, you're a success. Oh yes, and he's got a stand. There it is. All right. Yes, every look, every four-inch figure has to have a stand. There's just no way around it. Every single four-incher, three point seventy-five, got to gotta got to have a stand. Looks awesome. Looks sweet. I love his. Uh, I actually like the armor too. It completely matches his color. You know, blue. You know, what I'm saying white, some red, and some shiny gray. But the back, this uh, these cylinder things are. Whatever these, are. these kind of kind of like a jetpack boost. Um, they have kind of like a bluish metallic tinge to it. Again, the figure itself looks pretty awesome. Actually, yeah, the, uh, these things are claws. So I mean, I guess you're supposed to like you can he can grab like other characters like that. You know what I'm saying? And he can act like a as a crane kind of thing. Alright, and that's it! I mean, this is the sweet looking awesome action figure. It really is a, a, a quality figure. The paint job itself, the armor of Iron Man is awesome here. I, you know, I can't get enough of it. It really is a sweet looking armor of uh, Iron Man. I mean, just look at that. Just absolutely wicked. You know what I'm saying? I'm digging it. It looks awesome. It looks dope. It's only $7.99. It's only 8 bucks at Winners, really. Do yourself a favor. If you have a Winners nearby, go go pick it up right there. You know what I'm saying? 8 bucks is definitely a fair deal. Alright, so that's it for this uh, episode of Review Space. I definitely recommend this uh, figure. I mean, if you if, even if you're not a fan of Iron Man, this figure is just display worthy. Go check out the rest of the channel. Comment, rate, subscribe, all that good stuff. We got more reviews coming up, alright? So, until next time. Ciao!